Welcome to Samasa Yoga for Sciatica. Sciatica is a challenging condition and manifests for a number of different reasons. If you find yourself having low back pain that radiates out into the hip and down the leg in some way, and a medical professional has suggested that you may have what's commonly known as sciatica, we've developed a sequence of exercises that help to balance commonly misaligned and or out of balance muscle groups and we find that many of us get relief from the pain of sciatica by practicing this. It's always a good idea to check with your medical professional if any exercise program is good for you, and this is no different. Feel free to try this very simple sequence and see how it feels for you today. When you're ready now, find yourself in a comfortable standing position. We're gonna warm up from standing today, so find a place to stand and allow your attention to turn inward. As you allow your attention to turn inward, begin to notice how you're feeling today. Notice what's going on in your body. Notice any sensations that are already happening. Tuck your chin in a little to stand a little taller. Let your shoulders relax back and down. Notice where your feet are. If you can, draw your feet directly underneath the hips, not too close together and not too far apart. As you find your way into this tall standing pose, often referred to as mountain or easy standing pose, notice how you feel. Are you aware of your tight places just standing still? Imagine you can breathe into any places of tightness, tension, or restriction. And as best as possible, find an easy way to be. As you feel your breath settling into its natural rhythm, we're going to come now to the complete yoga breath. Inhaling deep into the belly, expanding up through the chest and the collar, and exhaling collar, chest, abdomen at your own pace, inhaling from the bottom up and exhaling from the top down. Inhaling until it feels as if there's no room left for breath, right to the back of the throat and the nose, and exhaling until there is nothing left inside, until you feel completely empty, expanding and contracting, riding the gentle tide of incoming and outgoing breaths, a little deeper, a little fuller. Notice where the mind is today, and if the mind is busy, inviting the attention to the breath. Toes are open wide, feeling the soles of the feet. Release the tailbone to let go of any tension in the low back. Maybe tuck the chin in just ever so slightly. The chin is parallel to the ground. The arms are relaxed. The breath is deep and full. This is a great way to turn our attention inward and begin to pay attention to how it is we are feeling today. Just watch the breath. If you find that you become distracted, notice what's come up in the mind allowing the thought to go to at the end of its natural process and come back to the breath, feeling the breath coming in, feeling the breath going out.
One or two more rounds of complete breaths. Complete breaths in, complete breath out. And then as you're ready, allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm. As the breath begins to come back to its natural rhythm, just notice how the quality of the breath has begun to change already. Just pausing here for a moment, feeling the natural rhythm of your breath. From this place of stillness that you've created, let's take a moment to set our intention for this practice. A moment to think about what's important today, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. What is important to you? As you begin now to move and warm up the body, inhale the hands up overhead, and a big stretch. Reach up as high as you can. Exhale the hands down by your sides. Relax the head and shoulders down. Just small movements of the head, maybe a nodding or releasing tension in the neck. Bend the knees deeply to support your low back, knowing that um, forward folding can aggravate sciatica unless your knees are bent very deeply. Relax the jaw. On the next breath, inhale, coming halfway up, and stretch from the pubic bone to chin. And again, micro movements are good. If you've got tight muscles, feel free to move when you need to. Exhale, on the next breath, we're gonna flex the spine back and forth, spinal flexion. Then just creating some warmth in the spine, creating a little movement to warm up the body. On the next breath, we're gonna forward fold again. And then inhale, hands all the way up, looking up to your hands, find your smile. It's a good day. Exhale, hands come down by the sides, stand tall. Begin to roll the shoulders back, sloughing off any tension. Shoulder rolls are great to release neck tension. That's it. We want to just bring a little bit of heat into the body before we move into the poses that are ideal. Nice big arm circles now. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down by the sides. That's it. Look up when the hands go up. Look down when the hands come down. You're doing great. Bend the knees. Slide the hands forward. Bring the hands all the way to the ground, bending the knees deeply to make that possible. Drop the chin down. And on the next breath, walk your hands over to the right. Tuck your chin in and just look underneath the armpit as you open up the side body. Back to center and over to the other side. As you come over to the other side, look down again, chin down, and on the next breath, bring it back to center. And on your breath, inhale, sweep the arms open wide and come all the way up again. Look up to your thumbs as your hands come up. Exhale, hands down by the sides and stand tall. You're doing great. And bring the right knee up into the chest. Hug the knee into the chest and stretch. And then bring both feet back together, change legs, and bring the other knee into the chest, hug the other knee into the chest. And bring both feet back underneath the hips, shift the weight onto the other foot, some nice hip circles, bring your right knee up, circling around. Two or three times one direction, if you like, two or three times the other direction. Just getting some heat in the hips and other side when you're ready. If you need help with balance, you can hold on to a wall, a shelf. You can bring your arms up a little wider and make some nice big circles on the other side. That's it. In both directions. Uh, when you've done two or three circles in both directions, feet back underneath the hips. 
And stand tall for a moment again. Feel how you're creating some heat in your body. And on the next breath, inhale, hands up. And exhale, hands down. Bend the knees deeply. Again, tuck the chin in as you come down. Place the hands on the ground. And whichever way you're facing, rotate so you've got a nice long mat or towel underneath you. If you know you have sensitive knees, put a towel down underneath your knees and your shins. And if you're comfortable, sit up and back on the heels. So maybe you can put a pillow underneath your seat if you needed it. Touch the front of your thighs, release the tension there. And when you're ready to inhale next, let's stand up on to the knees. No hurry. Take your time. If it feels good to stretch out, you can pause there for a few more moments. And we come forward into tabletop. If you need to flex your spine again a couple of times, that's okay. Curl the toes under and stand up on the knees. The hands come into the small of the back. Fingers point downward, thumbs around the hips. Shoulders relaxing back and down. Tailbone, pubic bone, hips and thighs move forward. Lifting the ribs up out of the abdomen into a very small back bend. And depending on your flexibility, it may look different. The chin is up, but there's no compression in the low back or the neck. And we're going to Kapalabhati breathe for two minutes here today. It's an intermediate level of this particular exercise. So Kapalabhati breathing is long, deep breaths sped up, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Okay. The exhalation is forceful and the inhalation is passive. You can go as fast or as slow as you like, starting now, holding and breathing. That's it. Or slower. Strong breaths. If you find it's difficult to hold this small back bend, feel free to come up and take a break anytime and then go back into the back bend. As you can see here in the demonstration, it's a very, very small back bend. If you're more flexible and it feels good to go further back, it's okay, but there should not be any strain in the low back and no strain in the neck. If anything, we want a sense of opening the front of the thigh, the hip, the front body, the front of the throat, and the neck. You can imagine looking through the center of the forehead, unless that strains the eyes in any way. And of course, just keep the eyes soft. Jaws relaxed. Tongue is away from the roof of the mouth. Kapalavati, or breath of fire. That's one minute gone, one minute to go. If you get tired, pause, take a break, and go back in if you can. If not, just pause for a moment. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm and then start again if it feels good. Less than 30 seconds to go. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded, it means you're breathing more up in the collar or hyperventilating. You really want to feel the abdomen move in this breathing exercise. In about 10 seconds, we're going to release the form, release the hands, and come down into tabletop. Ready? And take a deep breath in. And come into tabletop now. Onto your forearms. As you come to your forearms, bring the hands together and make a triangle with the thumb and point your fingers. Bring the forehead to that triangle. Walk your knees in underneath your hips. And imagine looking through the center of the forehead and pick your feet up off the ground. And we're going to hold here for two minutes. That's it. The breathing goes back to natural now. Make any adjustment that you need to. Again, at any point in the sequence, if you need to take a break, take a break. It's okay to, to take time to learn it and or build up the stamina to hold some of the poses a little bit longer. Yoga should never be painful or uncomfortable. If it is, 
make some adjustments. If you're not sure how to adjust it, feel free to contact us. The information will be at the end of the video. That's one minute gone, one minute to go. You're doing great. If you need to make any adjustments to make this more comfortable for your neck, shoulders, knees, take care of you. Always listening to your body first and anything that we have to say second. About 10 more seconds to hold. On the next breath, drop the feet down, adjust the knees, bring the left knee a little closer to the right and extend the right leg out straight. Lift it up so that your heel, knee and hip are in alignment. Try to keep the head, neck and shoulders as relaxed as possible and the back steady. And you're gonna kick the buttocks 60 times on one side, bring the knees back together, pause, and kick the buttocks 60 times on the other side for about a minute on each side. Again, if you need to take a break, try to take the same break on both sides. So notice if you're counting the number of repetitions, if around 30 or 40 you find you need to take a break, pause, maybe you can't get to 60 the first time. Don't Judge or criticize yourself. Just be grateful that you're trying this and that your back is going to enjoy all of your efforts today. Whenever you're ready, preparing for the other side. Think about the alignment again. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Head and shoulders stay relaxed. Kick the buttocks as firmly as you can and passively stretch the leg out straight. You can go faster or slower. Owen's going at a pretty moderate pace here today. I'm thinking that the rocks are pretty tough underneath the knees. It's a great view, but a challenging place to practice this particular yoga asana. Again, when you've done 60 or you've gotten to your max for the day, bring the knees back together. As you bring the knees back together now, we're going to sit up and back on the heels into hero and stretch back into extended child's pose. Pausing here now and relaxing as best as you can. And if you don't find it relaxing, feel free to lay on your stomach or to put a pillow underneath your knees or between the heels and the seat. Great variations to make this accessible to all of us. If you have knee issues, don't feel like you have to come into this pose. You're doing great. When you're ready, sitting up and back on the heels again into hero pose, virasana. Sit up tall and come back up onto the knees. We're gonna come back to camel pose again, this modified camel pose. Hands in the small of the back, tailbone and pubic bone moving forward. Ribs lifted out of the abdomen, small back bend in the upper back, teeth together. 
smiling if it's there for you today, and breathing naturally now. And we're holding for two minutes. Again, if you've gone into too deep a back bend and you can't hold it, don't force it. If you've got a nice modified back bend and you want to try going a little bit deeper, listen to your body. If it's accessible, go deeper. If you find you start to strain your back or your neck, it's too far. This should be an easy range of motion that you can hold for an extended period of time. One minute to go. Notice if the mind becomes busy. Notice what's taking our attention and come back to paying attention to the breath and the sensations in the pose. Oftentimes when we have sciatica, the hip flexors are very tight. Again, maybe we have a, a job where we're seated at a desk for long periods of time or we have an injury that's caused the hip flexors, the iliopsoas, to become very tight and restrict the motion in our, the hips. This is one of many reasons why the SI joint can become aggravated. This pose helps to open the front body and strengthen the back body. About 10 seconds to hold. And when you're ready now, coming back up to neutral, standing up, and sitting up and back on the heels. Once more, once you've taken four or five breaths, coming forward into extended child's pose. If you find it difficult for your forehead to come to the floor here, feel free to stack one forearm on top of the other and rest your forehead on your forearms. If you feel like you wanna stretch a little through the side body, reach out through the sides, and then relax into resting child. You're doing great. We'll find your way back up into table pose, and it is time to find your way into Shavasana, coming onto the back, wiggling around until everything feels long and straight and comfortable. If you know you have really tight back muscles or it's not comfortable to lie flat on the floor, Feel free to sit in a chair or to put a pillow underneath your knees. Let the feet fall open from the hip joint. Let the arms relax by the sides. If it's comfortable, let the palms fall open to the ceiling, the sky. Tuck the chin in a little to lengthen the neck. Find your way into the most comfortable position possible. And relax now into the rhythm of the breath. Give your body time to integrate the work you've done today. Relaxing completely. Nothing to do, nowhere to be for the next few moments, but right here, right now. Allow the body to rest deeply in the rhythm of the breath.
in a few moments, we'll begin to move and bring our attention back to the ground beneath us, the space around us. If you'd like to continue to just relax or fall asleep, feel free to turn the video off now or just let it play out. If you're ready for the next event of the day, bend your knees now, place the feet on the ground, feel the ground underneath the feet. Bring the right arm up by the right ear and roll onto the right side, curling up in a fetal position for a breath or two. Breathing into low back and hips. Feel the back expand on the inhalation, relaxing on the exhalation. And when you feel ready to inhale next, push into the floor with your hands and begin to come up to a seated pose. No hurry, take your time. Coming on around into a comfortable seated position. Sit up tall, shoulders back and down again. When you're ready to inhale, hands up, looking up to the hands. Exhale, we'll bring hands to our heart, looking down at the hands, and take a deep breath together. Oh. Shanti. Namaste. I hope you have a beautiful day. And don't hesitate to write and let us know how this practice works for you. Thank you.